everybody and welcome to another episode of Mr. Fred and Friends, the first episode of 2023. Man, I hope all you guys had uh, safe holidays. Uh, I hope everything went good. I guess say hi real quick. Paul Farrell, Tony Diaz, Stephen Snow. Wow, these guys are all jumping on. Very cool. Appreciate it so much. Uh, Kristen Landry. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Haven't heard from you in a while. You're the man. Anyhow, um, tonight we're going to be talking WCPL. And um, I've got, uh, obviously, uh, Bill Bailey's on here with me. And uh, Steve Priskill, um, he is uh, one of the owners of uh, Panhandle Paintball down there in Florida. So we've got him with. And then I've got two special guests here tonight. Um, I got a couple guys that, you know, one of them, uh, I, first of all, I have respect for both of them. They're, they're both terrific people. Um, but one of them played on Constant Pursuit with me, started there, and then went to the Ironman and now uh, runs the OG Ironman. And uh, just great, great, great guys. I'm going to have Dirk and his son, Dylan Gadbury, on tonight also. They're going to be talking WCPL, and we're going to be talking paintball. You know, hey, Tony Diaz, how you doing, my friend? You know, I, I like doing this because I like bringing people together, and I like building the sport of paintball, guys. I absolutely love doing this. Um, you know, I can't even tell you how much I appreciate you guys tuning in and watching. Uh, because, you know, I, like I say, a lot of the people I have on are very, very interesting. And uh, the more everybody watches each other, the more they're going to know about the sport. And just like when I give my shout outs, I'm going to give my shout outs again all this year. Because the guys I give the shout outs for are the guys that really worked their butts off for paintball back in the day. And uh, hey. Moran and Ellen, how you doing, buddy? And, uh, you know, uh, these guys, they, they deserve to be mentioned because would paintball still be here today? Yeah, very possible. It probably would. But would it be here in the capacity that it's in right now? Pretty doubtful. These guys have worked their butts off for a lot of years uh, putting this together back in the day. And back in the day, it wasn't so easy. You know, Dirk goes back then. You know, Dirk, Dirk will tell you, you know, that... Um, with the general public, it wasn't nowhere near as easy as it is today. And plus, you just couldn't run to a million stores and a million fields because there are very few and far between. So let me start real quick. I want to get my shout outs real quick so I can drag these guys out here and we can talk paintball. Um, get my shout outs first and foremost every week is Mr. Mr. Tim Schloss. Tim has Gateway Paintball and Tim has the last of the WCPL tournaments. Um, that's held during the year. Terrific, terrific field. Tim has uh, had Tiger Stripe back in the day, and hopefully we're going to have Tiger Stripe back again this year. You know, it's probably one of the best camo patterns there ever was. And Tim is one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet. If you ever get a chance, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take an, and head out to uh, Gateway Paintball, St. Louis. Absolutely love it. And then I got to say hi to Dan and John Colby. Now, we might have Dan on tonight. You know, I love Dan. Dan and I go back. He's been my sponsor for 30 some years. But, you know, we're rolling the dice with Dan to get on. You know, I mean, uh, sometimes it happens. Sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> you know, it took me forever to get this thing straightened out. So hopefully Dan's going to join us. But uh, we've also got, uh, you know, the, the New York version of the WCPL and another very, very good friend of mine. Very, very cool. Mr. Kevin Donaldson is going to join us also. So should be a great, you know, I mean, these are some interesting guys, you know. Uh, these guys, paintball, they go way back, way back. 
I absolutely love it. So anyhow, we're hoping Dan will jump on tonight. We'll see what happens. Then I got to say hey, hi to Bud Orr. Um, you know, no need to really say a lot about Bud. You know, uh, everybody in the world knows Bud Orr. Great, great guy. A um, little bit under the weather right now. So, you know, you guys get a chance. You might want to throw a prayer out for Bud. Uh, Bud's a great guy. He has done so much for paintball in the past, and the guy is still doing it today. Uh, I can't even tell you the respect I have and uh, how much I enjoy being his friend. He's absolutely terrific. Then I got to say hi to Tom K. Tom K was my second marker sponsor with the Automag. Now, Kristen, he'll know all uh, about the Automag. He's an Automag guy. Terrific, terrific kid. And then I got to say hi to Rainy and Juvie Boucher, Paintball News. Randy Camilla. Randy had, uh, he was the editor for APG back in the day. Mr. Jerry Braun. Jerry Braun actually owns Paintball Sport. He had Paintball Sport magazine back in the day, which I really loved picking up that magazine. You know, I, I, I you know, this, the online stuff is cool, but you know, it's just something about holding that and going through the pages and stuff like that. And then, then putting away and go picking it up and stuff. I absolutely loved it. But Jerry Braun also has uh, Paintball Sport back in Newburgh, New York. And uh, I got his uh, front man, the tip of the spear, actually, I consider for the WCPL, Mr. Kevin Donaldson, is going to be with us tonight. And then I say hi to Mr. Ross Alexander, Ross Alexander from Line SI. Uh, I still have my original Bushmaster that I played my very first professional tournament with. Good man. And then Jim Lively. Jim Lively, there was two tournaments back in the day you wanted to do, guys. You wanted to do Lively's Masters. In Tennessee, and you want to do Jerry Brown's World Cup in Newburgh, New York, because it was like a homecoming. It was so cool. Absolutely loved it. Then I say hi to Gino. Gino from Belkin. Uh, now everybody sees this over here. This is not a portrait of Gino. Gino's taller. So anyhow, I put that on because, you know, Gino does uh, a lot of stuff for uh, the people in paintball. And you guys, a lot of you don't hear about it. It's a lot of the behind the scenes stuff, you know, and is he a heavy roller? Yeah, of course he's a heavy roller, but you know, he does an awful lot for people. Um, and that's why I mention him every week. I think he deserves it because uh, I just like what he does for the sport itself. And then every week I got to say hi to my two little buddies, Mark Gong Jr. and Jaden Gong. And, uh, you know, uh, Dylan and, and Dirk, they both played with uh, these guys. And uh, I got to tell you, it's absolutely terrific. I absolutely love it. And Bonchick's watching tonight. Bonchick, I've seen that picture of you and those two guys. I got a little jealous. I'm like, what the heck is going on here? But that was a great picture. Gosh, you know, I hope they were your brothers or something. Well, you never know. But anyhow, let me bring on my buddy real quick. Oh, man, I tried to catch him drinking or eating something, but he's not doing it tonight. So I'm just going to bring him on like it is. Please, everybody welcome Mr. William Bailey. Yeah, yeah, you're watching me. Yeah. Dang right. <laughs> I love it. Guys, man, we got 20 people Ooh. already. We just started. Oh, yep. I've already been sharing it too. So, oh, have you? Yeah, I've been sure that. Yeah. I, I, it's I can't $74 do that. to get them 20 people yeah. on there. Hey, there I go. You know, I start sharing it. We probably wouldn't have a show. I click everybody off, you know. So, <laughs> Kathy Alvarez is watching tonight and Jeff Thompson from up in Canada, along with Robert Hansen. Well, and Tony Diaz, what a great group watches us, huh? Yeah. Absolutely love it. Well, I'm going to drag our guests out because, yep. uh, yeah, I just want to bring everybody out. And uh, I want to talk about, the, you know, our subject tonight <clears throat> is WCPL. Uh, mm -hmm. Obviously, I don't know. There you go. Yeah, my wife said I should shrink my head down. I said, hey, I'm going to get a bigger banner. <laughs> but anyhow, I'm not going to go there. Uh, so anyhow, uh, I'm going to bring out, uh, let me start with Panhandle Paintball. One of the owners, Panhandle Paintball, a terrific guy, Mr. Steve Priskel. I said it right, buddy. <laughs> Priskel. <laughs> oh, yeah, I yeah. knew you'd get me back, Freddie. I knew it. <laughs> I, hey, I practice it all the time. We're in the green. We were in the green room there. So, how are you doing this evening, Steve? Doing well. How are you guys doing? Doing great, man. Now I've got a couple of uh, good guests on tonight. Kevin's already chimed in. He was in the green room, but I think he's out uh, walking his bear right now because uh, <laughs> I, I, I can't see him on the camera. 
So, but uh, I'm sure he'll show up here eventually. But, you know, I got two great guys on tonight, uh, Dirk and Dylan Gadbury. You know, they Dirk and I, we go way back. And I, I've had the pleasure of meeting his son, Dylan. And, you know, these are two terrific guys, terrific players. And uh, they play for the OG Ironman. And uh, I'm looking forward to bringing them on and having you meet them. Bring Steve. them on. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> Just waiting for me, staring at me the whole time. I was like, all right. What I, oh, I throw you these softballs. You got to hit them out of the park. No. I, I did not realize I had that much control over the show. So you, you know, do. Yeah, oh, let's man. bring him on. You I mean, you started like shaking like Don Knox. I, I mean, I thought, God, this guy's so special. He's got this big, terrific field. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're very happy to have you on today. But I'm going to bring <laughs> these guys out. Um, these are some really, really good guys, and I can't wait for you to meet them face to face, Steve. Uh, they're go you're going to like them as much as I'm sure they're going to like you. But I'm going to start right now with the old guy, the old guy. Please, everybody, welcome <laughs> Mr. Dirk Gadbury. How you doing, Dirk? How's it going, world? Yeah, it's going pretty good. Did you have a good? Did you have a good uh, New Year's and everything? Yeah, absolutely, wonderful, wonderful. So did I. Yeah. I just laid around, watched football. Almost ate myself into a coma. Came pretty close. <laughs> it was uh, it was nip and tuck for a while. <laughs> go Niners! <laughs> yeah, 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 I know it. Yeah, yeah I, I got to go diet now. Is what I got to go. <laughs> <laughs> I got my belly sitting and my legs are going to sleep right now. <laughs> so you know what? I appreciate so much you taking the time to come on tonight. Not and, a problem. Know, I, I'm really happy too because you know uh, I'm bringing the the next generation. Yeah. Yep. Up. And, uh, you know, your son, you, you can't be any prouder of him. What a trip. Oh, I mean, it's, it's a dream. I mean, to, to play, to play in the nineties, a golden era of paintball and be on the top, you know, the top of the, uh, the heap. The, uh of the heap, you know what I'm saying? Of, yep. of, 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 of competitive, of a competitive sports, you know, at that time, and then to retire and come back and experience that same type of scenario with your kid is is it's it's speechless you know i, I don't i don't know what to say about it it's it's incredible it's got to be know. priceless so oh yeah absolutely it. absolutely 100 percent. it is so much fun well you so. know what i like what i like about him dirk you know is uh, you know you've always had a good attitude okay so you know i and and you know i i appreciated that all the time you know because you played yeah. on constant pursuit and yeah. then i played against you when you were with the ironman and yeah. the attitude has always been great and that's the same thing dylan's uh kind of spun off from you his attitude yeah. is absolutely terrific yeah yeah well you know i mean we're still competitive you know well, you but that's, be. that's that's what this game is you know the game yeah. the game is 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 being competitive on the field and doing the staring down and doing your trash talking and doing and having and playing the game and then when you walk off the field, you know five minutes later, you know you're uh, turn it off. You're you're, you're 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 turning it off and sharing war stories and having a beer together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what it's all about. You know that's exactly how it should be. Going to I these gotta... tournaments is is like is like going to a class reunion every you know, and and it's incredible. You know, and Got I get it. to take I, I get to take my it. son along along with it. Yeah, like I say, you know, I, I mean, you couldn't ask for much more than that. Oh, yeah, you, yeah. you and Michael Beard, you guys are, yeah. uh, hey, you know, in, in the same way as Michael. You know, Michael yeah. is a very class act. But yeah. I'm going to bring on a guy right now. Um, he's got a bear, too. You know, I mean, none of us on, on here have a bear. God, I mean, well, I got Bill, but that's about as close as I can get, you know. But, I mean, this guy has a real bear. Please, everybody welcome. This is the gentleman that holds the New York WCPL. Everybody welcome, Mr. Kevin Donaldson. What's what going on, Kev? What's going on, Kev? It's happening, Dirk. Long time no see. Yeah, absolutely. Good to see you, buddy. Hey, you ever met his son, Dylan? Of course. Oh, yeah. Of course. Well, everybody's going to meet Dylan right now, because please, everybody, welcome Dirk's son, Dylan Gadbury. What's going on, Dylan? How's it going? Oh, it's going what pretty up? good. Do you, you have a good New Year's? Uh, from what I can remember, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> that was a good New Year's. You know, I say the same thing about the 60s. <laughs> yeah. People have had a good time, and I go, I think so. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you know, 
very, very happy that you and your father joined us tonight, um, you know, because the WCPL, we're starting out our new year now. And uh, uh -oh. it's starting to starting to get legs pretty good. And, Absolutely. Um, and I'm very, very happy uh, about that. And uh, Kevin, finally, I see, I see Steve has got some stuff for us starting up there now. He's starting to get stuff online. Yep. So I guess we're going to get that straightened out. Yep. Little by little, it's a lot of puzzle pieces to get together. You know, all these different passwords and access codes and, you see, know, that was a, yeah. Facebook pages and too many damn Facebook pages. You know, get rid of these, add this. It's crazy. Yeah. We're no, absolutely. There. Yeah, I talked to him yesterday and that's what he was going, you know, because I told him, I said, you know, uh, Rico took care of our stuff before and Rico's a great guy and, and still is willing to help. But, you know, um, I said, well, just call Rico and get it all. And that's when I learned about, now you got to have this password for this. You got to do this. You got to do that. And I'm like, all right, Steve. And then I hung up. <laughs> you know, Rusty, Rusty does our web handles, our website and all the back end stuff. Yep. So you know, Steve has to get hooked up with Rusty. And it's funny. So, you, know, you know what Rusty's company name is, Fred? What's that? Constant Pursuit Marketing. Oh, yeah, that's I, funny. I, I, I did see that. I did see that. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. I did. So I is it, long so is it marketing. <laughs> is it Steve from Panhandle Paintball that does is is doing the website stuff now? No, it's no, Steve Davidson. No. Oh, Steve Davidson. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Yep. Yeah, we brought Steve. And real quick, I'm going to say Jessica Cortez from Hawaii is watching us. I want to give a shout out to her. She's a sweetheart. Um, yeah, uh, Steve is, you know, Steve's a, a great guy. You know, Steve, when we started the NPPL back in the day, um, you know, oh, Steve yeah. called me up and Steve and I actually made the calls to get the teams there to get this thing going. So um, I was really, really happy to have Steve involved with this. Uh Steve's what I call an extremely good nerd because, you know, he lives on the, he lives on the computer and, uh, you know, it took me a year to figure out how to get you guys on this thing. So, you know, <laughs> you know people call me up for advice. They say, you want it screwed up? I'll give you advice. <laughs> well, he's, he's, he's a guy. He's got the experience. That's for, for sure there. Sure. Yeah, and, and he was really, really happy to, uh, to be involved with us too, Dirk. He, oh, wow. Uh, and uh, he just started, he just, matter of fact, he's the one that put the first uh, promo together to, that sent out, but we're going to be doing a lot more now in the future. Yeah. You know, last year we were kind of shooting from the hip and this year we're trying to get our, our stuff together because. Yeah, get your legs underneath you and start, start dialing things in. Yeah. The website looks great. Yeah. Make yeah. improvements, Dirk, you know, yeah. a little at a time. Little well, lights. that's what it's about. It's constant improvement. You can't build this stuff, you know, overnight. It doesn't happen that way. You know, so, it's just like the tournaments. You know, everybody thinks that it's so easy just to throw this stuff together. You know, and, and until you gave it a shot and tried it, right? You know, you remember the first one I had, the first WCPL Dirk. You were there. Yeah. So five people didn't show up. My refs didn't show up. This guy yeah. that was supposed to be there. Didn't. I mean, yeah. you know, it was an absolute nightmare. You know, but yeah. where I was lucky, you know, is I had a lot of a lot of good people that were on the teams that. Uh, you know, first of all, they jumped in and helped me out. And the second absolutely. of all, they, they, they tried to make things run a little smooth. But absolutely, yeah, it's, you know, having the people behind you is, is not well, so easy sometimes. Hopefully as it grows and, and more people have skin in the game, we can get back to, you know, like I said, I, I, I stand by this 100%. Since I've been back for five years, and I think the best judge tournament that I've been to was upstate New York, was the Blasters. Oh, you know, yeah. hands down. I've, so, said, I've said that for you know, years. We, we know what works. You know, we've yep. been doing this. You know, why right, reinvent the wheel? You know, yep. so we can get we can get enough people involved that we can get back to having teams doing the judging and, and, and you know, incentives right. for doing that, you know, some points for doing it or whatever. And then the right. system, it runs. Now you got all this support and Davidson and all these different people that are helping out. You know, stepping right back into the into the spots that we did back in the '90s. I mean, it's it's a no-brainer. Well, it's the whole thing. You know, bring it like I you know like I say all the time. You know, individually we can do something for paintball, but collectively we can do a lot, and that's kind of what yeah. we're doing with this right now. Right. Because you know, I, I'm having the first tournament down at Ambush, uh, down there in I believe Moore Park, uh, yes. California. Yes. And uh, you know, it's with uh, Glenn Forrester. You know, yeah. and um, 
it's supposed to be a pretty good field. So I'm looking forward to that too. And that kind of expands us a little bit because I wanted to do something in Southern California and then in Northern California in August. Absolutely. So um, I just, uh, cause you know, I, I want California back on the map. Yep. Okay. Well, now you've got to share, you've also got to have, you've, you've also got to have, you've got to be able to share the traveling expenses. You know what I'm saying? You can't have four exactly years, right. four years of a league and only one West Coast event. You know, I mean, I absolutely agree. we've been traveling our asses off, you know, I mean, it's tough, you know. So, you know, when I looked at that schedule, I was like, this, this looks like fun. Yeah. Well, you know, the New York tournament, is, you know, uh, is one of my favorites. Oh, yeah. I just uh, absolutely love the New York. As a matter of fact, you know, I think one of my favorite things is watching Kevin and Jerry go at each other. I think that's, you know, that's a show in itself. Well, you get the entertainment <laughs> on the side. That's the, that's the added benefit. There you that's, go. Uh, that's and the, I'm, that's go the first pro tournament for me, Fred, was with you yep. in, New, in New York. And we that's took second place. That's that was, that was right. my first event. That was the. Yeah. Uh, the that's the ASO. one that, that you were in the picture. Yep. yep. That's yep. the yep. very yep. first yep. pro event that I played. I played prior to that, I played on Iron Man 2, but that was the very first one. Yeah, and that was and the that was, to pursue. That was absolutely mm -hmm. unbelievable. We played that our off too. Oh, yeah. That field was just that. That's what. That's what put me over the top and got me hooked. Was playing that field, that event, that was it. Yeah, but you were, you know, you were always a, a great player, you know. Um, yeah, but you gotta, was, you go got, you gotta be, you gotta be put in that position. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you, you know, well, you I, can't, you know. I gave you the chance to play because you were in the right. spot. I didn't just yeah. give it to you. You know, I mean, right. I watched you play and you were smoking. Yeah. Right? So, yeah. You know, just like Dylan is now. Oh, yeah. You know, and, and but you that's, are still uh, playing high, high level. Yeah. I have a legacy I have to follow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're, you know, uh, I can't wait to actually do um, Steve's down there at Panhandle Paintball in Florida. Yeah. Because, um, you know, we're so happy to have him involved with us. And uh, I've seen pictures of the field, and the field is uh, absolutely cool. And, Steve, you, you've got a woods ball field also, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we've got uh... – We've got a lot of acres of woods actually that that are coming up. So, um, yeah, tell we'll us a little have... bit about your field, real quick. So we're uh, we're in Holt, Florida, which is just outside Pensacola. It's the uh, only part of Florida that's in the Central Time Zone, Fred. Because I know I know we have I troubles gotcha. communicating that. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, but uh, we're actually we're actually located on a 120 acre gun range. So. We've got wow. we've got a lot of fun stuff going on at our place, um, yeah. but we've got uh, what are we up to now? We're up to five fields now. Four more coming. Um, three of those are going to be the woods ones, but we've put in mounds, so we've got nice. But I don't want to say fresh virgin because we've been playing them for sure, um, but we've got nice mounds field. Um, but all in all, I mean, we're uh, the idea really was to bring back paintball blitz. It was you know Danny's field up in Illinois. And uh, we're trying to keep, you know, fun. Like, what you know, we don't want people coming out there just to get stressed and practice every weekend. We want people to come out just to have fun. You know, the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the, the way we used to go to the field and we'd hang out all day. And if we missed a couple of games because we were telling war stories, it didn't matter. And, you know, that's, that's, that's what me and Danny are doing. We're, we're bringing back that vibe of that old, that old style field that, uh, you know that that's where I started. Well, that's where, uh, honestly, that's where I Dirk and I started too. You know, I yeah. And, and, and you know what it is too, Steve. You know, is we're first of all, let me say we're not trying to compete with the NXL. You know, we don't want yeah. six hundred teams out there. That's that's just and, and you know and my hats off to Tommy Cole. I love Tommy. You know him. And I've been friends a long time, and he pulled that off, and I'm I'm more than happy for him. But this is just a little bit different uh, than you that I like, you know, I like the woods ball as I get older. Um, I really appreciate the woods ball a lot more because, you know, playing the, uh, the speed ball and stuff like that, that's, that's for guys like Dylan and stuff, you know, and Dirk's still pretty quick too. Um, but you know, uh, that's, I just like the woods yeah. ball and uh, there's a lot of guys that are coming into it now that are really loving it. Look at the, the police department, uh, you know, Tim F 
uh, them guys from New York, the New York Police Department, man, they are so much in the woods ball now, it's not even funny. And uh, they're thinking about doing a, quite a few of the tournaments this year. So I just uh, I, I just think that we're bringing back just a different type of venue, not to compete well, against anybody. It's not really a different type. It's it's coming full circle, right? I mean, yeah, it that's, is. When, it, go. that's when this game started. That's yeah, when this game started. Yeah. Absolutely. It's where all of us, except I guess Dylan, you know, started. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, just because I didn't start in it doesn't mean I don't love it any less. Than yeah. You guys. Oh yeah. Oh no, no, not at all, Dylan. Yeah. Well, you're looking forward to playing some woods ball, right? Me? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. That's yeah, that's, I, that's that's all I look forward to. It, we, unfortunately, one of our our only really woods ball field closed out here, so now I just I itch and I can't wait to go play these tournaments. Yeah, just move to Florida. It, it's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. New York. Tell you what, you I know a to, place. Yeah, you've never got to play New York, have you? Yeah. We're, we're uh, we come as a twosome, so wherever we go, you know, you might not, you know, one of us is tough, two of us is trouble. You yeah. know, so I, I watched you guys. You guys bunkered that one guy together. I watched oh, yeah. it on a video. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was yeah. cracking up. That was Paxton. <laughs> Sorry, Paxton. Yeah. <laughs> oh, was that Mike? Yeah, that was Mike. Love to death. <laughs> he wasn't too happy with us after that. No, so I think he was all right. That's yeah. the only father-son duo to bunker somebody I could play yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, I was. I seen that. I was cracking up. I'm. Like, yeah, that was pretty funny. Well, that was I so saw cool. him. I saw him running to go bunker him, and I couldn't let him beat me, so I had to race him to it. <laughs> Yeah, Tony, Tony Diaz has been watching us quite a bit. Tony is uh, a pretty cool guy. Now, um, I'm hoping that we get to see him at some of the woods ball tournaments. Uh, but, you know, it's fun. It it actually is. You know, when we started playing woods ball, it's a little bit different now than what the woods ball was then. Back then, it was tons of brush. Man, we could crawl. I mean, you could crawl right up into people's faces, yeah. I got to tell you. Yeah. And now it's a little bit different, but you know, it, it's still the feeling and, and it's still, anybody can go play woods ball. Yeah. Am I, am I right, Dirk? Absolutely. Yeah. And it was kind of a coastal thing too, because, well, what coast you lived on, because out here, the West coast, we had the, the thick brush, you know, the fields that, that line the rivers uh, in the Bay area, you had the, the Yanis, the Yanis fields all over the place. So those, that type of terrain, you know, and then you go back east and you get, you know, upstate New York. It's like playing in a, a freaking park, man. Yeah. You know, it's beautiful, you know. It it's is. open, rolling hills, you know, a, a canopy it's over the top. It's just gorgeous. So well, remember when I started, I started Battle Action Games uh, out there. I had the Eucalyptus Grove uh, and yeah. uh, Bob Dele ended up taking that over. But see, yeah. that's where we all started was out there in the trees. Well, that was what was fun about it is because every state that you went to had a different type of terrain. And Absolutely. that's what was fun. It wasn't it wasn't a hybrid field, a hyperball field, a mounds ball field. Yep. It was the natural terrain. And every one of those areas was completely different, you know. Yeah, and that's, and that, it was incredible. That's what's exciting about it. And that's why yeah. I'm so excited about the WCPL now doing yeah. the same thing. Yeah. You know, and just like Tim's field, you know, Bill worked on Tim's field back there and those fields were, were really cool. A lot of fun. Yeah. yeah you, you put some time in on those, huh, Billy? Oh, yeah. A lot, a lot of hours. <laughs> a lot of days. <laughs> a lot of days. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but it, it was worth it. The fields, uh, you know, yeah. and that was the last WCPL. So I'm really looking forward. Well, I, I seen pictures of uh, Glenn Forrester's down there. So I'm uh, looking forward to, uh, going down there and checking that out um, yeah but uh should be a yeah. good time so it should be yeah go ahead should should we do a little announcement then freddie is that okay to do that buddy you and dylan i got, I got you guys i guess are my special guests on this show you can say anything you want as long as you don't swear there you go buddy well i kind of want to i kind of want to get this out there so people kind of understand and kind of know what's going on but basically we had a uh, a meeting uh, over the holidays on uh, the direction of the team. And we decided to um, to focus 100% on the WCPL. So right now, the, uh, the OG Ironmen are basically looking at doing a minimum of four events, um, starting off with the uh, Southern California, New York, 
NorCal, and St. Louis at this point in time. I've got my whole squad basically unanimously have uh, have voted to go to that direction. So, um, you know, same thing. I, I give props for for Tommy and and everything that that he does in the NXL, but. Um, at this point in time, the direction we want to go and what we want to promote and uh, what we feel is, you know, the right, the right direction to go for mechanical is, 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 uh, is in the woods. And, um, and the WCPL best uh, represents the, the things that we believe in, and that's, that's where we're going. There you go. You, you, got, a, you got a fan right there, Dirk Gadbury. This is awesome. See you soon. Yeah. No. Is that like your uncle or something? Or? <laughs> <laughs> cool. Some kitty paid 20 bucks for the gas station. Sure. Go post yeah. on this for me. Yeah. 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 Well, I know I know the I the band isn't gonna play down there in Southern California. I'm gonna go no. down there and just kind of hang out and everything. But the first one the band's gonna do is Steve's tournament. Um I am really looking forward to that. The uh and, the Florida tournament. Yeah, that's gonna yeah. be the first one with the band. And, you know, maybe you guys never know, you know, or maybe you guys could jump down there. And uh... it, It's a possibility. I wanted to get I wanted to get the four tournaments out, out of, uh, you know, I'm saying we kind of kind of spread yeah. it out. But there is quite a gap between, uh, you know, in, in, in the, between uh, SoCal and New York. So right. it's a possibility. You know, well, we just you have know, to take if, a... if, you, if you can't take the Ironman, maybe you could jump on with the band out there. Yeah. Yeah, or, or or represent or do something, you know what I'm saying? But we'll take it. Yeah. We'll take a look at it. You know, I mean, I. Uh, I mean, we're serious about it. I mean, we, we want to hit as many as we possibly can and, and try to try to make the points, you know, worth something, make, you know, that, that's what it's all about, you know, is, well, we're, is well, we're consistency. And, yeah, yeah. And we're happy to have you. And, you know, I'm, I'm going to put this out there right now, too, you know. And the reason I'm going to say this, everybody, is because, you know, I've been friends with the Ironman for a long time. I mean, we every weekend back in the day, we practiced against, practiced against the Ironman. We butted heads at tournaments, you know, it was, uh, it was just one of them love hate relationships that I wish everybody had the chance to go do back then, because you want to talk about a great bunch of guys. I, I can't even begin to tell you how much fun I had with these guys. So I'm going to throw this out there, Dirk, if you need a hand, if there's something we can do a fundraiser or something like that to help the team. Okay. To, to get airline something, you know, think it up, let me know and let's uh -huh. start working on it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, because it's we got uh, April. Absolutely. That's what I'm saying. It, it after if you kind of if you kind of look at it, you know, we got one real quick, but it's right here in our backyard. And right. then after that, we got quite of a gap, quite a big gap. So it's it's very possible. There were several guys that were kind of going, you know, eh, Florida, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I know I know for a fact, my cat. Um, I love it. Yeah, there's a bunch <laughs> of them. There's a bunch of them that are really uh, interested in doing. Uh, England also, but I don't think that that'll be until next year because I've got about half of the guys that got to get their uh, their passport. So yeah, well, you know I'll what I'm saying um, it's still a ways yeah. out, but uh, you know Andy Strett, right? Yes, uh, I won't hold it against you. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's a great guy. He's uh, <laughs> checking you out right now. He said you're great, and so did uh, Kathy Alvarez. She said the same. Awesome. thing. Awesome. Yeah, Kathy's That's great. Amazing. Yep. So um, let me click that up there real quick. So anyhow, you know, we are so, so very happy to, to hear that. Um, I can't even begin to tell you. And like I say, if there's something that we can do to, uh, to help you guys uh, to get you to some of these tournaments, you know, some kind of fundraisers or something like that, mm -hmm. let me know and let's, uh, let's put something together. You know, because okay. uh, I can't do it for every team, but I would definitely do it for the yeah. OG Ironman. And yeah. the reason is because of the history. Yeah, we all we all have. Well, we appreciate that, Freddie, one hundred percent. Thank you. Oh well, yeah, well, appreciate your friendship that much too. You know, yeah. I mean, we go way back. And then, you, like I was saying earlier, uh, I was talking to Dirk in the green room. You know, and his son Dylan, just pure class act. Um, you know, just like Dirk always was. Dirk was on, mm -hmm. uh, on the field; he was an animal, and then off the field, he was a nice guy. So you know, and that's kind of just same thing Dylan is right now. Oh. So Dylan, uh oh. Too much credit, that fucking guy. <laughs> ah, here we go. Here we yeah, go. I was hoping you'd do that. Yeah. Fucking guys beating on and off the field. Yeah. Well, hey, yeah, but you know who took who took first and who took second at the first WCPL? 
That was yeah, Basket oh, yeah. Blasters. H H Hutch pulls over the crowd, huh, Kev? Yeah, <laughs> hey, look, it doesn't mean I don't love the guy, you know? I'm just, you know, <laughs> can't sit there and watch you fucking blow smoke up his ass for half an hour. But I like the, I, I like the, I like the guy. And he doesn't have a beer, so there you go. <laughs> Everybody's wondering about the beer joke. I got to throw this out real quick. We did a show one time, and I had Steve McGuire from uh, um, Unknown Paintball Podcast up in Canada on. And I had Bill and I had Kevin on, right? Well, Kevin's got a, a big bear, a, a real bear skin. And he had the bear on his, he put it on his shoulder like that. And the bear's head was on there. Well, the show goes off, right? And next thing I know, I got Bill going, oh my God, did you see he had a real bear? And I, I, I don't say nothing. I think he's just kidding with me. So I, I click off. Well, the next day I'm reading Steve McGuire's on there going, oh my God. Kevin Donaldson had a real bear walking around in his living room. <laughs> and I'm going, what in the hell are you guys talking about me? <laughs> but yeah, go to yes. Bob Long's house, right, sir? What's yeah. that, buddy? I said, go to Bobby Long's house. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I'll take a quick story, too. When, Bob, when Bobby had his shop down there, when I first met Bobby, I go down there with Bob D'Elia, Carpet Bob, right? And we're standing at the counter, and Bobby and I are talking, and Delia's over there looking at this this gun, right? And he's going back and forth there like that. And he goes, is there air in this thing? And he pulls the trigger, and it shoots a red paintball. And he's got this white, like an elk or something, uh, uh, a true story, up on the wall. And this thing goes, and it doesn't hit the elk, but it hits about two feet from the side of it, you know. And nobody said anything for about five seconds. And then Bobby runs over and grabs the gun from Carpet Bob. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. I'll never forget that. I'm going, well, I got to take him home. Yeah, so, Bob Long got the best stories there are. I mean, he, he got mauled by a lion in, in, a, in a hunt in Africa one year. Yep. Unbelievable. Come back and lift his shirt up and he had, you know, the claw marks and the whole bit. That thing just sat there and chewed on him for a while. Yeah, wow. he had some great stories. You know, and, oh, and, yeah. You know, we, like I say, you know, we all got, I got along good with Bob. You know, oh, I Bob, love Bob. Yeah, yeah. And uh, on the field, you know, we we just went after each other. That's exactly yeah. how it was. But off the field, he was a good guy. It's, it's those kind of people, you know, in, in this sport, Bob and Phyllis and Kevin and, you know, you, Freddie, it's it's those kind of those kind of people that you've had relationships for for years and years and years. You can walk away from it for for twenty years and come back to it, and those people are still there and still treat you exactly the same way. It's it's fun, man. It's incredible, you it know. Is. It is. Yeah, it's and yeah, you know, like I say, some of my best friends are because of people. You know, yeah. I mean, it's just. Uh, uh, a truly a blessing all the time because of that. But you're absolutely right about that. You yeah. know, and but you know, a lot of it's like I say, you know, the kids coming up now. Now I'm not I'm not gonna blow smoke up his butt, Kevin. So but anyhow, you know, you know it's it's not smoke, you know what it is? It's respect. There you uh, go. And, and, that's what and, it is. And, and it's I like the way Dylan, I'm gonna Bobby tell you right now, I'm not the stuff. nicest, I'm not the nicest guy guy in, in the village, that's for damn sure. You know Everybody what I'm saying? Knows that. I'm, no. I'm competitive <laughs> as all hell. I, I, you know, I'm like my dad. I, when I play, I you know, I grew up with a in a Gadbury family where you know, when you walk away from the monopoly monopoly table, your dad's cheating that you know, stealing your crap to win the game. You know what I'm saying? That's the way that's how competitive it was, you know what I'm saying? So and that's what I am, but but it's <coughs> but it's respect. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You know, yeah, well, it's respect you with the all Americans. Yeah, it respect with the gardeners. Respect with you know with Spuddy and and Cope and and Rennick. It's respect. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And 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 on the field, you guys, you know, and after it's the crazy thing is, is you have such huge battles and hate for each other in these tournaments, but. Over time, it's it becomes respect, and that's yeah. that's forever. You know, one thing I wish all the kids nowadays. You know, I mean, we were blessed back in the time when we we actually started. Some of the things we got to see, some of the people we got to hang with, yeah. and some of the things we got to do. You know, and I got to tell you, you know, you tell some of these people, some of these kids nowadays, and they just look at you like, yeah, sure, you know, yeah. And and I just wish everybody could have lived that just for a moment to see some of the stuff we went through. Because look at paintball when we started. Kevin knows, Bill knows. You know, it wasn't as easy as it is now. 
Yeah. I mean, you got a lot of people going, oh, you guys are warmongers and all this other kind of crap, you know, and you couldn't run down. We had Honest John's gun shop to rip you off. For, <laughs> you know, I mean, a case of balls was consisted of 12 tubes with 10 in each tube for 36 yeah. bucks. You know, I mean, <laughs> the so, game had you know, a personality. The game, the industry, every bit of it had a personality. You know what I'm saying? And they just, they, they don't, they have no idea what it's about. You know, it's everything today. It just seems to be so stale and so, so routine. We're where, where, it. Yeah. We're back in the nineties. It was, you know, it was gunslingers, man. Yeah, we, were part, we were partying and having fun. Yeah. We're, ch oh, we partied. <laughs> but yeah, we're, ch we're changing that though. You know, um, yeah. a, a lot of young kids are coming around, you know, there's a lot of young guys now that want to play the woods ball. Yeah. And, you know, and, and these guys could all go play the, the fast speed ball and everything else. But, you know, they're interested in the woods ball teams. also. A lot of good teams out there, these young guys in the woods. Yeah. They're oh, serious yeah. business, man. You can't take them lightly. No, look at look at Francis Swain and the Hellhounds. You know, they, they linked up with the uh, suspects, the All Americans, too. I mean, these are good teams, man. Absolutely. Decent teams. As a matter of fact, yeah, the uh, all A twos they took uh, third place in the very first WCPL. Yeah, it was, well, yeah, it was second overall was, for the series. They, you know, and you know, last year's Ironman and them. They yep, they played well. Yeah, they're they're team. You're getting all a lot of well. enthusiasm, right, this year? Oh Kevin? yeah, yeah, a lot, a lot, yeah. a lot of yeah. interest, a lot of enthusiasm. But we'll see how it shakes out. You know, we're the little guys, so yeah, yeah. we're the underdogs. Yeah, but you know what? I don't okay. mind being the underdog. Guys. We get to have more fun, though. I don't, you know, we don't need to have 60 teams. You know, I, no, I not at all. Teams. You know, I don't want to be big like that because then yep. you lose the whole personal interaction thing, which right. I think is as important as the actual play. Absolutely. Camaraderie is way better than the actual you know, Like play. everybody getting to know each other, everybody hanging with each other, the picture taken, the laughs, the – yeah, come over, have a beer, do this, do that, whatever, the parties. That's yeah. what it should be about now at this point. I'm too fucking old. You know, you're not gonna you know, you're not gonna see me <laughs> hanging out in flip-flops and board shorts, you know. If they, yeah. you know That's what know. everybody was saying before you come on. That's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you gotta be a little you gotta be a little quicker on that beeper there. Ready? <laughs> yeah. you know, you just wait. Those, those guys from New York. My good friends, I let them roll. They've only got one. They've only got one language. I can't the first, what's happening the here first is, word of the sentence starts with an F, and, and the last word of the sentence starts with an F. Hey, bring on Danny. I look like a saint. Trust me. Uh, that's just hedging his bet. That's true. At least as many as Danny Gold. Danny gets in the last minute. Yeah, I love Dan. Yeah, love absolutely. Dan. Well, you know, Steve. Uh, Tell us a little bit, yeah, because you and Danny just linked up what last year, right? So, well, I mean, me and Danny go way back, like yeah, way, well, no, way. You back. guys go back to your America. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, but I'm talking about the field part. Oh, for the field, yeah. So, so we we took it over in February of uh, of 2022. So we're coming up on a one year anniversary here in eh, about a month and a week. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it was kind of one of those opportunities where it's more, you're not going to get one again. Right. Where, you know, we've we've got a, a piece of property we can use. We've got everything we need ready to go. Um, and we, we had to. So we, we bought the place. And uh, and yeah, I mean, ever since then, I, I'm not going to lie. It's, you know, Bill's talking about the work at, uh, you know, getting ready the one field. But when you're taking over an entire field, there is a lot of work and, you know, uh, sometimes I feel bad because Danny's out there sweating so much and I'm in the building doing the paperwork, but still. He needs that. He, no, he needs that. <laughs> yeah, he, he needs to get out there in the sun and 90 degrees and <laughs> and, and tear tear thorn bushes out so that nobody nobody accidentally trips on a thorn or gets thorns in their hands. Yeah, yeah. yeah he'd call me from down there, Steve, and I'd go, hey, Danny, what's going on? He'd go, Freddie, I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, can we uh, can we <laughs> link some photos from those woods ball fields? Can, can we upload? Uh, Steve, I will yeah. Them uploaded, yes. Yeah, I'd like to get them up. Get, maybe get them up on the uh, on the website. I'd like to see some of that. Yeah, yeah Steve, I will actually. I'll be out there tomorrow, so I will take some pictures tomorrow for you, and I'll, I'll, I'll load them up. I, uh, 
Yeah, yeah if you could take some pictures have, and put them up there, it would be terrific. Yeah. Um, some and, video and, walkthroughs and put them yeah. up on the, get them to yeah. get them to see with Davidson and let's get them yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, those right, ones, I'll Kevin, do, you did them. Do that in our field, you know. I've yeah. done it. So we can post them up there. Yeah. Oh, you, you had pictures you guys out there with blowers blowing the leaves off the field. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's winter here now. So, you know, the fields were like beautiful four or five weeks ago. But come the end of this winter, there'll be trees down, limbs down, shit down all over the place. And yeah. Yeah. Lumber for another three months. Man, give you yeah. something to do. More bunkers. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Whole lot more bunkers. Yeah, but I gotta but tell anyway, you, the Ponderosa, the Ponderosa is the field, though. I gotta yeah. tell you that that is the field. That It'll kill is. You. Yeah, That's well, you know, field. when Dirk and I played the Ponderosa back then, it was different. It, it had a gully in it, and then came up the other side. It's a little bit different than it was it back was then. It was the size, Freddie. It was like yeah. an actual. Well, That's what I'm talking about. Twenty-five yeah. percent or thirty percent longer. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Remember, Dirk had the yeah. big gully and then up the other side. Matter of fact, we right. beat the all A's on that field, too. Yeah, it's it's upside. It's upside both directions. That's right. You yeah. know, yeah. it don't matter which way you go. You're going to be climbing to <laughs> get the flag. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, when the band played it, we were drawing straws before the game and they go, wow, what are you guys drawing straws for to see who pulls the flag? And we're going, no, to see who has to run it back. <laughs> during that game. The one Freddy, game we won, I was the first. I was the first one up there too, man. And I looked at that flag, and I go, "Somebody pull that thing!" <laughs> the one flag you pulled last year, two years ago, Tom yeah. Gee pulled the fucking thing, and your whole team ran away from him. <laughs> I, was, I was, I was the first one up there. I was right up by the flag, your and whole, I look at it, and I go, "Somebody pull the flag!" Away. I didn't touch it. <laughs> And, and he, he crawled, he on, crawled his up the other side. on the way that's about the last 25 <laughs> yards to hang that flag. Yeah, seriously, yep. <laughs> the referees were watching the watches, just they thought they were gonna run out of time. Uh, and you hear you know, this, Dylan? I, I started that push and I go running up and I tripped and fell going behind a bunker and I knocked part of the bunker down. So I'm trying to set the bunker back up and a rough comes over and goes, it's okay, Freddie, I'll rebuild it. <laughs> <laughs> Rosie's on the radio. Rosie's on the radio to me going, should I let the game go? Should I let the game go? I'm like, no. <laughs> Fucking blow it on time. He's like, come on, man. This guy's he's never going to be. I'm like, blow it on time. And he hung it. Like two seconds left. Wow. <laughs> oh, seriously, yeah. And man, I got to tell you, when I started running up there too, before I got up there, I could hear the crowd starting to cheer. And then when we pull that flag, they were going crazy. You want to <laughs> talk about excitement just for one win. That's the only one we pulled on too. <laughs> <laughs> did, yeah, that... did we charge that crowd up? Oh, yeah. The whole crowd was fucking clapping, cheering, going. Yeah. <laughs> it was crazy. Yeah, that feels treacherous. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, it is. Yep. You gotta play it at least once in your life, you know, to understand. Yeah, absolutely. That's what I told I mean, Dylan. I said, regardless, this you know, this was a conversation for the last couple of years, regardless of wherever this goes or whatever, is that me and him, we've got to get together on on the Ponderosa and upstate New, you know, your guys' field uh, you know, at least one time before I hang up the guns because you just gotta experience it. You just have to. It absolutely, you absolutely well, that do. Is, if you want to go to throwback paintball from the, you know the beginning of paintball, twelve gram Nell spots. That's the field. You yep. know yeah. that yep. is what paintball was. Yep. Actually, less than paintball was because I cut the field short. Yeah. But, <laughs> I yeah, can't remember the year we were there. Um, you know, I was just looking at some of my patches. I had the the eighty eight from the survival games back there. Um, is that was that the one? For 88, 88, 88, we had the air pistol open. Okay, I can't remember when the first, air first time we played that. Yeah, probably, probably. Yeah, because I've got the patch then, in there. That's why I, that's why I was looking changed, at the wow. We changed the air pistol open in 1990 into the World Cup. Right. Well, I know I used to love it. And, and uh, <laughs> we would go out there and Jerry's 
father-in-law would be out there parking cars all the time. And I, I, and I always get him, I pull right up in front and he go, Hey, you can't park there. You can't park there. <laughs> and then they go, Oh, Freddie, go ahead. Park there. Park there. <laughs> <laughs> I love the guy. He was so cool. <laughs> yeah. That was, uh, like I say, you know, we could have a story time about, you know, just you, me, Dirk and Bill could sit down and have a story time that we could talk probably a week about some of the, the good times say, that we've had. That'd be a multiple episode. It would be a, a <laughs> lot of fun too, you know, and now Dylan, you know, you're, you're starting to, to you're going to be hanging with a good group. You'll see as, as time goes on here, you know, you're, you and your dad are, are great, but you're going to start meeting some of the people that, that do some of the stuff things that we do now with the WCPL. And I think uh, you're going to be making your own memories. And I think you're going to act absolutely like them. I really, really do. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, we're Go looking up. forward to having you. What, Kevin? I said, we'll have fun. Oh, oh yeah. absolutely. The main no doubt about it. We left the ICPL was so we could play you guys some more. Well, <laughs> we, <laughs> well, we appreciate that. You know, we, we're just trying to get everything together. You know, we got uh, the guy in Mexico wants to do it. There's a guy in Canada wants to do it. But I told everybody last week, I says, you know, as soon as we get our heads together in the U.S., then maybe we can do that. But for right yeah. now, I want to concentrate on the U.S. and make yeah. the U.S. very, very cool. Here's Tim. Yeah, we got Glenn. <laughs> Thought it was going to be Dan. Everybody, Glenn Forrester. What's How do I make on, this Glenn? Thing work? Oh, not much, man. We're just uh, talking WCPL. Yeah. How do I get out this thing? Nope. How do I use this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get them on here. Uh, <laughs> you aren't the only one. <laughs> uh, I, I'll tell you what. Um, let me see if I can send you an invite. Maybe we can put you on for a minute here. Yeah, through uh, Messenger. Yeah, through Messenger. I don't know. God, I don't want to click everybody off. So here we go. Hold tight. Uh, okay. Um, hang on here. Should I, should I hang up? Or? No, no. Just hang on a second. Uh, <laughs> don't laugh at me, Bill. This is the first time I know this is the first time I've done this, guys. So. <laughs> what the heck? How did I end uh -oh. up with that? I know it. Let me get back to stream there. Oh, thank God you guys are still there. Yeah, we're uh, here. Bill, can you send Glenn Forrester uh, an invite? Uh, let me see. I might be able to, but my phone died. Um, I got on Star Wars somehow. I don't know what the heck's going on here. Is it through Facebook Messenger they're going to send me an invite or something? Yeah, yes, exactly. Uh, I'll just hang up and wait for something to come through. Yeah, my Fred, my uh, phone's dead. Phone's dead. Okay, hold, no, hold tight, Glenn. Can I? Can I? I just. I just sent it to him. Oh, oh, can, any, can anybody do it? Yeah. Yeah. Anybody any one of us can send it, huh? Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Dylan. Oh, Dylan, you're the man. Yeah. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. This is yeah. why we need to All right, yeah. Bye. Son, keep up with technology, and run your ass off every day. Hey. <laughs> you, know, you know why he's telling you that don't you you get a better home for him as he gets older oh no i want him to carry the flag back <laughs> <laughs> no nah, man you got to do it like we do oh. yeah oh yeah well we're gonna have glenn forrester hopefully on in a minute because danny never showed up and uh there's still six minutes left he might call you he might have been trying to figure it out the whole time you never know might, well yeah because uh you know uh, or Mary's there. Mary probably threw him out of the house because he was yelling so much that he couldn't get back on. So Dog's probably chewing his arm <laughs> off or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, hopefully uh, we can have Glenn jump on here in a minute. Um, but, you know, uh, before he gets on, you know, I got to tell you just how much I I appreciate uh, Dirk and Dylan and the OG Ironman um, wanting to jump on and do the WCPL. Uh, that actually means a lot to me, to be honest with you. Um, because this isn't a team that just started last week. This is a team that goes back a long, long time. And uh, for them to want to jump on and, and play the WCPL, I think I consider it an honor, to be honest yeah. with you. So I, um, I, I'm grateful for it, very much so. Yeah, so, I'm, I'm, we're, we're really looking forward to it, Freddie. We're, we're, you know, I'm hoping, too, that I could get some more of the uh, – some more of the, you know, the retired OGs and some of these guys that this, this appeals to, you know what I'm saying? 
So that's we, that's another strategy. You know, what I'm saying we can get some some of these other guys to come in that would that have played for the team before in the past. You know, yeah, it's getting legs. And, you know, pe people yeah. are seeing the people involved in it now, Dirk. Yeah, and they're getting excited, wanting to do it too. You know, right? Absolutely, absolutely. So, I mean, look at you and Dylan. You and Dylan are jumping in now. You know, yeah. Yeah. So, so what's on the uh, what's on the uh, on the on the what's what's it looking like, Kevin, for for upstate New York as far as uh, international teams? Well, I'm supposed to have two from the UK, and I mean, the Preds are definitely coming. Oh UK. boy, that's gonna be can't wait for that. Well, the right. Booney Boys are talking about it too. They're from well, Canada. Yeah, the Booney Boys from Canada. Looks like they're gonna be in, and yeah. uh, the, the 95 All Stars from Germany. Okay. So. And one and then, other brief. I forget who Marcus told me, but I and don't then us, yesterday, us but and I the All A's for sure. I'm sure the All A's will be there for that. Far side yeah. will probably be there this year. Yep. yep. Um, you know, because I think the band will be there. Yeah, the band will be there. Yep. The band. Band be there. yep. You know, and, and what's going to be cool too, you know, is we have our little dinner on Saturday night, and uh, I, th I think that's something uh, Dylan's really going to enjoy. Because, uh, you know, all the great people, all the great players from all over get together for this dinner. And we just have a pretty great good time. Great diner? Yeah. Where else, baby? Come on. I know. That, that yeah. guy shut the whole side down for us. Shut the whole thing down <laughs> for us, Freddie. Yeah. Yeah. You remember the players party in the 90s? That's, that's what know? we try to bring back. Dirk we used to do that. that at the Villa Water Bag. That's yeah. what we try to bring back, Dirk, is exactly yeah. that. All right, yeah. everybody. Uh, hey, let's welcome the guy that's going to uh, do the first WCPL tournament hey, down there at Ambush Park. Everybody, please welcome Mr. Glenn Forster. Ooh. What's going on, and Glenn? That's all the time we have. How's it going, Glenn? <laughs> I've never done Good to see you, buddy. <laughs> right on, man. Glad you could jump on with us. Yeah, man. Yeah, welcome so we're aboard. Yeah, we're, look we're looking forward to, uh, to going down there and doing that. It's it's going to be a good time, and uh, it's going to be the first one of the year for the WCPL this year. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a good good event. I mean, I'm sure you guys – I missed the show, so you guys were talking about – I'm sure the guys are already telling you about the fields and everything, right? Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. well, you know, you've got to post it online, and, and now we've got uh, um, Steve Davidson. He's doing the website and everything like that, so he's up, updating a lot for us. So – as, as the weeks go on, you're going to be able to see all the fields and uh, and everything. You know, Steve, uh, by the way, Glenn, that Steve Preskill, all the way up on the top there, he has the Florida field, Panhandle Paintball. Uh -huh. uh, you know, Kevin, uh, that's William Bailey all the way up the very top. He helps Tim Schloss at uh, uh, Gateway Paintball in St. Louis. And uh, off to the side there, that's Dylan Gadbury. That's uh, Dirk's uh, son. Yeah, I know them. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I know them. <laughs> right on. So yeah, we're looking forward to it. Uh, it it should be a, a pretty good thing, and uh, you know, and I like expanding the WCPL like we've been doing too. I I think it's good, and um, you know, we're going to have one at yours, and this is going to be the first one in Florida. At uh, Steve, Steve is also. Dan Colby's partner, their partner is in that field down there. So they're, they're together on it. So it should be pretty cool. Right. Looking forward to it. Is the band going to put a team in? No, not down on yours. The first one the band's going to is going to be uh, the Florida tournament. Okay. So, hey, Glenn, yeah. uh, just like the the Steve with Panhandle, let's get some uh, some good photos of those fields. And we can get them uploaded up on the, on the, uh, the webpage. Yeah, definitely. Um, no, I got plenty of good photos. Um, yeah. From the, you know, that last WCBPL event we had, it was, uh, and uh, I'm going to make some changes too. So I don't want the yeah. field to be uh, boring. Exactly the same. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to think all these years. Every time I go to the field, the fields are always the same. And I'm I'm not all about that. I'm going to try yeah. to change, change it up a little bit. That yeah. That field was really fun. I'm, I'm looking forward to coming out. It's, it's nice. It really is nice. It's a beautiful. Dude, I checked the airfares today. Two hundred and sixty bucks round. Oh, there you go. There you go. Fucking beat that from New York. I know, but when you get on the plane, they tell you to put your feet in the pedals. Be careful. It's cool. It's not Southwest or anything, you know. There's a there's a unique LAX. I'm flying. I'm flying Newark to LAX. Yeah, two hundred and sixty bucks round trip. 
Okay. Yeah. From New York. From, from Newark. Yeah, Burbank is actually a closer airport, but it's, it's always cheaper to go to LAX. You know, that's their commuter flights, basically, you know, so they yeah. fly every hour. It's really convenient. Right. Yeah. Or LAX, we're about an hour and a half if you don't know where you're going. Yes, dude. That's <laughs> any two of you can go to anywhere on Earth. That means three hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're looking that's forward to it. Feel. <laughs> well, you haven't you seen pictures of the field? Because there's been some of the pictures of this field out there already. You haven't seen any of them yet? Me? Anybody? Yeah. yeah I have, yeah. Glenn, Glenn sent me pictures, videos. Yeah. I've Dirk, you haven't seen them yet, huh? No, yeah. We played it. We well, played them. Yeah, we played it. We played, we played it back that uh, that last event. We really enjoyed it. Yeah, I seen pictures of it. It was uh, pretty intense. I got to tell yeah. you, man, you got a lot I mean, of holes to put that together. <laughs> yeah, I like both of the fields. Both of the fields were awesome. That was one of the best uh, mound fields I've ever played. Yeah. That shit blended with the trees stuck in the ground. You know, I yeah. love it. Yeah, the only real yeah. wood ball field in California. Yeah. There you go. Hey, just put yeah. some solar over the top of it. There you go. Yeah, I mean, he's not out there raking leaves either. So. <laughs> hey, Dirk, I'm thinking about changing the wood field around a little bit because, um, I mean, at the last event we had, it was, you know, the, the mounds played really well. It played fairly quick. And the wood field kind of, a lot of the games stalemated. Exactly. So I was, I was, I was, I've been thinking about how to make that field not such a stalemate field. And uh, what I came up with is I think I'm going to widen it. Yep. Um, and take just, half the bunkers off of it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. because you can, you can shoot well, across I, field. Yeah. You can shoot across know, some field. Some people want me to add more bunkers and bigger bunkers. Oh, I just right. think that'll just create just massive castles and nobody ever gets shot. Mm. So I think the way you you we, we I fix that is I I add some other widen it up and I I add another twenty feet or bunkers over there, and that will just spread the field a little bit more so people can move around more. Yeah. Yeah, make That's it to where you, you can do. you can move more up the tapes, and you don't have to worry about getting cross shot out so much because you can cross you can almost shoot completely across the field. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, that's you shouldn't be able to do that. You shouldn't be able yeah. to shoot tape to tape. Yeah, you yeah. got to have a little strategy. You got to have a little smart. Got to be Link? a chess game. Make it wider, yeah. Glenn. Well, no, lengthwise is good. Lengthwise <laughs> is good. You know, the snake is good, but I think if you take that Dorito side maybe and blow it out further. Yeah, that's the plan. Yeah, yeah. I mean, right now it'll be ready, and I'm sure it'll be good too. Yeah, yeah, yeah Kevin. No, right now you can shoot tape to tape, but you got to really arc it, and you're not. Yeah, you, know, you got to really arc it to barely. But if you give it that extra, like I find that if you give it that extra 15 feet or so, where a guy could sneak through and forces your opponent to kind of fill the middle more. Yeah, you know? yeah, it, it changes yeah. the whole way the game plays. So you know. Yeah. Oh, there it's, you go. It's really in a unique area too, because it's up, up on top of a bluff. And they've got they've got like these gigantic levees, you know, up at the, the parking lot drops off into the field. So you can sit there and you can watch the fields from above. It is so cool. Yeah, you, know, you yeah, can sit I've up there and watch it. everything going on. You know what I'm saying? I love that. Yeah, yeah you get some you know, pictures of the area and you're looking down on the fields with yeah. even, you're not, no net needed. Yeah, yeah it's so like watching watch a chess game. You know what I'm saying? It's cool. Oh yeah, you sent me pictures, and and you know I was I was really impressed with it. You know that was one of the reasons that I decided to go ahead and uh, jump in with him and do this down there yeah. because uh, I just think it's good for California too. You know, yeah. and and I like Southern California, I like Northern California. I mean, I'm a NorCal guy, that's how it is, but I got a lot of friends in SoCal down there. You know, and uh, it's just going to make the WCPL bigger and better. Well, it's, it's warm during the wintertime, you know. I mean, it's a great place That's to go. That's a big plus. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you, got, you, start, you said it easy, you know, earlier in the, in this webcast when you said everything's always east of the Mississippi. Yeah. You know, we got to have yeah. more events on the West Coast. Yeah. That's exactly right. Well, that's what we're doing is just yeah. that. And, and you know, everybody across the country, if you're in New York or you're in Pennsylvania, you need to support the West Coast events. You need Absolutely. to support the West Coast event. It you got to commit to it. Biggest, yep. We may not have the biggest event, but it, it's going to grow, you know. You just that's, 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 that's exactly how you do it, though, you know. It, it's just that way. You know, when I when I had the first one last year, the first one had, what, Dirk, 14 teams? 
14 teams. Yeah, 14 but, teams. And shit, we all had a great time. You we know? had a great I mean, time. You know what I'm saying? Kind of a madhouse for me, but, you know, it was... Uh, yeah, there's there's always going to be growing pains. There's always going to be little issues, little things. That always happens, but you just learn from it and move forward. But the, but the, right. the reality of it is when you sit back and you go, okay, you know, over the last four years, I've played all these events. Which ones did I really have fun at? You know what I'm saying? And that's what go. it's all about. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's yeah. all about. You know, yeah, I'm looking forward to that, and I'm looking forward to doing Steve and Danny's down there in Florida too. Yeah, because uh, I'm really glad that they they jumped on. You know, and we appreciate Rico. You know, Rico was with us to start with. Uh, so Fernandez. So we appreciate him uh, giving us the first year. But I'm really looking forward to Steve and Danny's down there. You, Steve, you're all ready for it down there, huh? You're never ready. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest, right? Yeah, uh, right here, smart, smart man. I like yeah, that answer. He's they're, ready. They're, you he's know, ready. Let me we got, you know. What what city is the field in in, in Florida in? So it's it's just outside Pensacola. Pensacola. So it's way up in the panhandle. Yeah. Way up in the, so far up in the panhandle that we actually had pipes burst from the freeze. On yeah. you, got, you got some real woods up there, right? Oh yeah. There's there's some good woods up here. How, how um, many acres is your field? How many acres do you have? So we've got about right now we're using up about 20, 15 to twenty. How um, big is the whole field though? Not just uh, the woods ball field. How big is the whole field? Well, the 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 property is one hundred and twenty acres. That's what I'm getting at. Yeah. Yeah. So wow. a lot of it's dedicated to some you know real steel shooting and sometimes flamethrowers, but you know. <laughs> There's, I want to see some Danny was in hog heaven there. Field. Yeah, I want to see some pictures. See, hey, the only the only suggestion I have yeah. is what, what, whatever there's naturally. Leave if it. you use if you use that, you can't go wrong. Absolutely yep. right. You know, oh, yeah. you know, if if you're taking the logs and the dirt and the and the the trees and and everything that's there that's natural, and on those woods ball fields, you you can't go wrong. You just can't. Yeah. Absolutely you know? right. Yep. Well, I'm looking forward to the the WCPL this year. Um, I'm glad that uh, I linked up with Glenn. I think that's going to be good because uh, now we're covering. You know, California is a big state, obviously. You know, I I had and we have Steve Davison coming in. You know, Steve Davison years ago he calls me up and he goes, "Hey, Freddie." He goes, uh, "I'm going to be in LA." He says, "Can you drive over and do dinner with me?" And I says, well, you know what? I'm like uh, seven hours from L.A. You know, he's used to all these little postage size states that they got back there, you know, stamp size. So my wife and I flew down. We had dinner at the airport. He took off. My wife and I got back on a plane and flew back up here. Wow. And that was Southwest. Now I'm afraid to fly Southwest. So, uh, you know, how many thousands of people they leave hanging last week? Yeah. Thousands. <laughs> so... But I'm really looking forward to it, and uh, I'm looking forward to having Dylan get his feet wet with his dad in uh, the WCPL. I think you guys are going to really enjoy it. And I can't tell you how much we appreciate uh, the OG Ironman dedicating uh, themselves. Because uh, you guys are a good team, you know. You guys should do uh, very, very well in it. First tournament last year, you guys took second. And, you know, uh, the only team that, that was better than you was uh, – the blasters and you know you guys are all terrific teams <laughs> literally by two they beat us by two points <laughs> i know it i know it yeah yeah they, absolutely yeah but kevin played with them or otherwise they'd have beat you by a hundred he's a liability one by a body by one <laughs> detriment to the team i know it yeah yeah it was damn close <laughs> did, <laughs> wait, wait, did kevin play yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. It was, yeah. He, he did pretty oh. good, actually. You know, I mean, what you made it, what, 30, 40 feet from the flag station? Yours, yeah. right? Yeah. So that was pretty good. And then uh, one of my refs goes up and he goes, yeah, he says the guy is going down. He's laying down. He goes, he's got balls flying all over him, man. And he goes, finally one hits him. And he goes, I go up and he says, I tell him, I says, oh, I think you're hit. And Kevin goes, yeah, yeah, I think I am too. He stands up and walks out. But it was only like what, 30 feet from the flag station or something like that. He said you were laying on your belly. So it was it was pretty cool. And Kevin, Kevin, Kevin played great. Yeah. Yeah. And you guys all got rings. You guys all got medals. You guys got the, the whole nine yards. That was pretty cool. Yeah. And then Dirk takes off without me signing his check. So. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. That was a good one. So, anyhow, I'm really looking forward to it. Glenn, um, yeah, I wish you could have jumped on earlier with us. Uh, yeah, so appreciate. I, I had to run up to the field and rip down my nets. I got this big storm coming in the next couple of days. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's supposed to be here tomorrow, actually. Uh, tomorrow and tomorrow night and uh, Thursday yeah. is supposed to be pretty wicked. Up here, yeah. too, same thing. Yeah, we're batting down the hatches right now. It's it's supposed to be really windy tomorrow. Well, you know, what yeah. I was talking about earlier is, you know, we in the next 10 days, Friday is the only day up here that's not supposed to rain. Now, yeah. we don't get rain for like three damn years, yeah. and now it's not going to stop for two weeks, you know? Yeah, so, yeah. yeah it's <clears throat> like duck one week, feathers the next. You just don't understand it. So Does that mean the, does that mean the East Coast is going to get a break? Yeah, oh, did yeah, you? Yeah, I mean, first they got snow, and then we seen you guys were flooding in New York. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, wow. up north, up north of us, you know, they had four feet of snow in a day. Yep, thirty-seven people dead. Yeah, you know, and then then uh, here, it's fifty-seven degrees in in lower New York today. Crazy. That's livable. Yeah, no, yeah, but that's a day. It'll be it'll be zero before you know it. Yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow. So, well, I had frogs chirping at my place yesterday, <laughs> and I've seen robins today. And that doesn't usually we don't see robins until spring. And you had snow snow last week. Yeah, we had snow Mageddon last week, negative twenty eight damn degrees. So Mother Nature's all screwed up. Wow. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. I, I've shot past my hour. Um, first of all, I want to thank everybody for coming on. I, I definitely want to thank uh, Dirk and Dylan for bringing the Ironmen to the WCPL. Um, you guys got a lot of history with the team, and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. I, I think it's just absolutely great. And Glenn, uh, can't tell you... I, I'm looking forward to working with you on this guy, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And it's something we're going to build on. You know, it's something that we're just going to just keep on working on. And Steve, I'm looking forward to coming to Florida. It'll be uh, it'll be warm and sunny for you. Yeah, Kevin and I are going to come down here and and bust your balls, man. We're going to have a good time. And right, Kevin, you're going to come down here and just complain about the heat the whole time. Let's be honest. <laughs> oh, I love the heat. I don't complain. I don't complain about the heat. I complain about the cold. So, <laughs> right on. All right, Steve. Well, I'm going to let you uh, be the first to say goodbye to everybody. And uh, thanks again for coming on tonight. Absolutely. Take care, guys. Take thanks, care, Steve. Guys. Get us Bye, some pictures, Steve. buddy. I'll get them up there. Right All right. Away. All right, everybody. That is. Let me see if I can get him out of here. That is Mr. Nope, I'm <laughs> Hi, Steve. Bye-bye. Ah. <laughs> <Bye -bye. laughs> Come on. Get fired. <laughs> ah. was, was, we love you, Steve. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> right on, brother. All right, you have a good evening, huh? All right, you my too. friend. All right. Uh, we'll see you guys in like a month or so. There you go. Hey, Everybody Robert. asks Mr. Steve Prisco. He Prisco, Prisco. I oh, got it. Now I've said it three times right. Uh, anyhow, he has Panhandle, Florida, uh, Panhandle Paintball in Florida, up there by Pensacola, and he's going to have the second WCPL tournament this year. Uh, the first being down there at Ambush Park at uh, Mr. Glenn Forrester's place. So, Glenn, we're looking forward to it, buddy. Yeah, me too. It's going to be a good time. I'm looking yeah. forward to everyone, teams from the East Coast coming out and playing on the West Coast uh, field. Looking yeah. forward to going to Southern California again. <laughs> yeah, and, and you know what, you know what, though, we, we'll get more next time because, you know, this is kind of a short notice uh, uh, for the teams on the East Coast, but I think we're going to drag them out pretty good next year. Um, we're just going to show everybody what a great time they had this year, and that's what seems to be drawing people more and more in. Same way with the New York tournament, you know, showed people how much fun we had. Now more people yeah. keep coming out there, so it's yeah. something we're going to build on. I got a so, call today from the Ollies, too. They said they were going to chart. They're making it. Oh, boy, oh, that'd no. be awesome. Outstanding. Very cool. Well, Glenn, why don't you tell everybody that about registration? How do you register? On uh, pbleagues.com. It's, it's on the – It's live go. on pbleagues.com. Yeah. It's live. And, uh, yeah, it's all live, ready to go. All very, right. very, Good. very simple. So. Black Sunday's already registered. Uh, Fatal Swoop's already registered. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. OG yeah. Ironman. Yep. Yep. 
Right on. Yeah, you guys get your teams in there. Kevin, get your name up there so everyone knows where else is going. Yeah, we got to create a buzz and get it going. Publicize it, guys. Yeah, well, yeah. we just register tomorrow. Yeah, we're okay. going to start doing it now. Everything was kind of lull until after the first of the year, but now now we're here. Now it's time to get it on and, and start really pushing this. So. Yep. All right, Glenn, I appreciate it. Glenn, I want to have you back on the show maybe again next week. Uh, maybe yeah, we're more right. at the beginning, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, buddy. All right, man. I'll be we'll talking talk to you. All right. All right. Cool. See you, Glenn. All right, everybody. I'm Mr. Glenn Forrester. He has Ambush Park down there, in, I believe, Moorhead, Painful, or Moorhead, California. Yes, sir. Yeah. And, uh, you know, Moore Park, California, excuse me. And uh, I got to tell you, I've seen pictures of this field. You guys are going to want to get out there and practice. You know, the, the, the tournament's going to be in like six weeks up there now. So, you know, all you teams from out here that, that get a chance or anywhere around Southern California, get out there and, and play his field. Check it out. He's going to change it up a little bit, but you guys will still be able to get the field for it, you know. And uh, go say hi to Glenn. Let him know that you're there to practice because you're going to come to the WCPL tournament. It'll be your 18th and 19th. All right? I appreciate it. All right, Kevin, you're the man. Mr. I appreciate you jumping on tonight, man. No problem, dude. Anytime. You know that. I really do. You're, you're my brother. You know that. With a minimal amount of F-bombs. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, I only, <laughs> I I only counted three. Yeah, I usually have to take my shoes off to get the 20, but yeah, it was pretty cool. So, hey, give Wendy a hug for us, huh? I definitely will. All Sir? right, brother, I will. Yeah, yeah, buddy. I'll see you guys we'll real see you soon. soon, buddy. Yes, Thanks we'll see you in L.A., you. buddy. Thanks for coming on and helping us out, man. You know we need it. You know, it's, I'm sorry we're a little late to the game, but I'm a man of my word, and, you know, we've got to let things play itself out, and, and uh, we're ready to go, buddy. We're going to hey, make well, sure you have a good time. I'm glad to have you. I'm just glad to have you here. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> All right, Kev. All right, good guys. evening, my friend. Take, Take care, care, buddy. I'll see you, brother. Yep, see you. All right, everybody, that's Mr. Kevin Donaldson, one of the, the nicest guys I, I've ever had the pleasure of knowing. A uh, lot of years. Come on now, he's from New York. <laughs> yeah, I overlooked that. I overlooked that, though. I overlooked that. Kind of weird. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. I, I tell everybody he lives on the outskirts. New so, York you know. is New York. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Dylan, I, you know, I want to have you back on again, man. You know, I... You know, when when you get this group on, it's like hockey. You almost got to put your elbows up and dive in there. So, you know, I, I, I just want you to know that, uh, first of all, I, I'm very glad we became friends. Second of mm -hmm. all, appreciate so much you taking the time to come on the show tonight. But I want to have you back on the show again before we do the Southern California tournament. So Absolutely. within the next six, within the next six weeks, I'll get a hold of you and, um, drag you back out here and uh we'll talk more paintball all right awesome yeah sounds good so i'm gonna say goodbye to everybody later guys see you son uh, cut and dry huh? <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> right on like all right dylan <laughs> yeah you have a good evening buddy you too thank <laughs> you right on. all right everybody that is mr dylan gadbury terrific terrific guy yeah you couldn't be more proud Dirk. you did a good job I gotta thank you. you yeah very very great kid, I, I got to tell you. All right, buddy. Well, I'm going to say goodbye to everybody. And now I want to thank you up front, too, so much for coming on tonight. Um, not a problem. Not a problem it. at all. And your uh, your announcement is absolutely great. And We're excited. Knowing, knowing that I'm going to get to see you at all these tournaments actually makes me very excited, my friend. We, just, we want to have fun again, Freddie. I mean, that's what it's all about. Having fun is what's important to us. A uh, few things, few shout-outs I want to uh, – uh, wish uh, Bud Orr a, a speedy recovery. Everybody's praying for him right now, and and uh, give him some love. And uh, Tim Schlosh, I want to I want to hit him up and start uh, start doing this because I, I you know I hear that the the original Tiger Stripes coming back, and it and, is. and we we want to be front and center on that deal, man, one hundred percent. So I, when, when it, when it, sure when it comes out, when it comes out. I want to wear it. I want to wear it with pride. And, uh, you know, uh, the, the same group of guys that we were sponsored with back in the days, you know what I mean? With Dan Colby yep. and, you Correct. know what I'm saying? 
Nope, Tim Slosh, right. let's line all that stuff up, and, and it, it's a cookie-cutter deal. You know, let's well, do it over again. Yeah, well, we're living our, our, our mm. youngster days, man. I'm loving yep. it, you know? Yep. And like I say, I'm looking forward to seeing you at the tournament. So um, go yep. out and have dinner and just hang out and have a good damn time, period. Absolutely, Fred. Much love. Uh, thanks thanks to you and uh, and and everyone else that's, uh, that, that puts all the hard work in the WCPL, and we're definitely looking forward to it. Right on, Dirk. You've taken right, busy, my friend. Bye all bye. right. Everybody else, Mr. Dirk Gadbury. Man, I got to tell you, you should see that guy still play. Uh, last year, uh, you know, we went up and we played again. Maybe it was a year and a half ago, something like that. God, he left me in his dust. That, he is still fast. And I'm like, what the hell? So next time I play alongside him, I'm going to tie a rope to him and a rope to me. So I think that'll double my speed. <laughs> All right, Billy. Well, I'm going to say goodbye to everybody. And uh, I know you worked your butt off on Tim's field. Uh, Tim called me earlier. Uh, he was going to give us a call, but obviously that didn't happen. Danny didn't get on, so yep. but we did all right. Yeah, another one in the books. Another one in the books. <laughs> all right, brother. Well, you guys have a show tomorrow night. Um, yep. plug, plug it real quick. Uh, tomorrow night, eight o'clock. Uh, we're with the yeah, yeah, central. Uh, talking about the, another museum. The week after that, we're going to be talking about paintball tanks, the the vehicles, not oh yeah tanks, but actual vehicles. So. Oh yeah, love so paintball tanks. Yep. Yeah. So, <laughs> all right. See you guys. All later. right, brother. All right, man. Take it easy, Billy. All right, everybody. That was Mr. Bill Bailey, Mr. William Bailey. He has a just a terrific, terrific museum, paintball museum. You got to see it. He's got a lot of first run things. Uh, it's absolutely great. It really, really is. All right, everybody. Well, first of all, I want to thank you so much for watching tonight. Um, I, you know, I want to thank all my guests. It was, I was exciting to have Dirk and Dylan on. Those are our two great guys. And, and Steve from Panhandle Paintball down there in Florida. What a terrific person, you know, and uh, Glenn Forrester. It was a great evening. So, Next week, we're going to have another very good show for you. I want to thank you so much for fighting through this tonight. I, you know, I, I love talking paintball. I love talking to people about paintball. And I love my viewers listening to these guys all talk about paintball. A lot of history here. So please, everybody, remember, together, we make paintball bigger and better. Till next Tuesday evening. 7 p.m. Pacific time on Facebook on Flagpole Productions. Please, everybody, play hard, play safe, play fair. Get out there and play paintball. All right, guys. See you next week.